Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And today we are going to create Azure SSI integration runtime in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. We are going to see via Azure portal. And what is the use of Azure SSI integration runtime? So in Azure Data Factory, we have a couple of types of integration runtime. So one is Azure default integration runtime, one we can have self-hosted runtime and one we can have Azure SSI integration runtime. When you have any packages which was built on using SSIS, uh, SSIS is SQL Server Integration Services. For doing similar stuff, you have any pipeline, you have job running inside on-prem server and you want to lift shift that one to Azure and you do not want to rewrite that one into new Azure Data Factory or Synapse Analytics, you can do that one. You just have to export that one and set up this integration runtime and use that one. So that is what the scenario is. And in this demo, we will create runtime. And the next demo, we will see how we can publish that uh, SSIS, which is running inside on-prem to Azure Data Factory and how we can run in Azure Data Factory. For this demo, we are in Azure portal and inside our subscription and resource group where we generally do the demo. And we have already few things created inside this resource group in previous demo. And we have a ADF created here. So let's go inside ADF Studio. Once we come to inside ADF Studio, this is the home page where we can see different options. Now let's go into manage section. And in manage section inside integration runtime, we will create a Azure hosted SSIS runtime. So if we go and click on that new button, we have few options for integration runtime setup. And mainly there are two, Azure and self-hosted, where if we click on the Azure and self-hosted, then we have few options inside that one where we can leverage integration runtime into Azure and then self-hosted where we can install and do that. We have done a demo and we can also share self-hosted integration runtime, which, which is existing another resource or another team is using. So we can share that one. And if we go back, the another option which have Azure SSIS one. So SSIS is SQL Server Integration Services. If you have any SQL Server Integration Packages inside any other system, and if you want to lift shift that one, then you can use this kind of integration runtime. So let's go ahead and create this integration runtime. Once we click on that one, we can provide the name, or whatever name we want to provide. And then we can put description and this which location we want to put that one. And this is right now I'm going to put into east to west. And then what is the node side? Node side is machine, which type of machine we want to use and how much code will be there, what is the RAM and other details, depending upon what is the fast and what details you need. So I'm going with a small one and number of node, how many node you want to have one or two right now for demo i can go with one because it if you see the costing it is going to charge based on that whatever i need for that one depending upon all these things so i'm going with only one node and then i can go ahead and click on continue then it is going to ask more details because if you know that sql server integrations runtime services required a database name called ssisdb so where it is going to create this catalog DB, this create SSIS catalog DB. So if you do not have any Azure SQL database in your subscription, then you have to create that one. But for that, I have already this uh, SQL server database created already server. And inside this server, if we go back to our resources, and if we see SoftPage OLTP, uh, there is another database called Worldwide Importer Standard. There is no SSIS DB right now created inside that one. And that is why I wanted to show you that there is nothing inside apart from this database. This is another um, demo database which we have inside this SQL Server. 
if we go ahead and select this one we can change the different one also i have a couple of uh, database server inside resource group created in previous demo so we can select that and after that one we have to provide what is the admin username and password or ad inside our uh, this server so that it can connect and it can do all this detail, details right and also we can use another for failover scenario we can select that one and what is the pair name another runtime we want to give that one we can go ahead and do that one and which kind of database it is going to create depending upon what we are going to select so i'm going to select basic one right now basic database i'm going to create and let me grab the details for my uh, server admin name i will go ahead and put the server admin name and the password i have password I can go ahead and password if you see that one that uh, what is that name uh, admin username and password will be there so i wanted to keep that same so admin uh, admin password of your azure sql database what is the password is going to be for this ssi sdb so i have kept all these details and now let me see where is that uh, our server is there so this is the server details so also is fine now we can we have few more options if we want to use that file system and other things for package and other details but i'm not going to use that for this demo so let's test connection connection is successful let's go ahead and click on continue button now in the next setting what is the maximum parallel execution per node it is going to happen we can select depending upon our need parallel for a parallel execution and then we can customize our integration runtime with additional configuration or settings or we want to provide this as a inside any virtual network or any private network we can provide that one and we can also use this as a proxy for another thing so we can set up a self-hosted runtime and use that as the proxy to connecting that one but i'm going to keep as default and i'm going to click on the continue so now all the summary is going to come that we have selected to create Azure SSIS integration runtime and then subscription is that where this resource group and details are there and what is the node size, what is the number of node, what is that edition we have selected, what is our catalog server where SSIS DB will be created and what is the service tier all these details are going to come and now it is whatever costing detail is there now i can go ahead and click on create so that it will start creation of that one so now it is just starting let's wait some time once it starts here also we can see starting azure exercise integration runtime now what is SSIS and we can see the type also Azure SSIS type is now started in running. If we go inside our this database, we can see now SSIS DB is up and it is pricing tier is basic as we have selected. Now, if we go inside that one, we can go and click on query editor and we can try to connect to see what is inside the details. And this is what it catalog skips all this is details where if we run the any jobs anything from this db it is going to keep and all the package related details for ssis when we are going to run any ssi task or activity from pipeline and use this uh, integration runtime then it is going to use this db to store all the details in uh, in packages and it will run and we can see into next demo now let's go and see that we have a synapse also synapse analytics so let's see how we can create azure ssis inside synapse so let me launch the studio synapse analytics studio and if we go inside synapse analytics studio this is home page it looks like it. So let's go into manage section and in manage section if we go inside integration runtime right now i have a self-hosted runtime which i have uh, right now stopped and this is one is type for azure so once we click on the new we can see the similar integration runtime setup and if we select azure ssis one and if we go ahead and put the name which we did the same right 
then we can give all the details and we can select our location and we can select whatever location we want to do node side same we can go with one node and if we click on the next we can go ahead and select the same thing over here and if we give the name okay it is the catalog server basic we did that one so all the details is the same if we test connection that let's see what it says it is now it should not create that one because it is already exist it says that uh the integration runtime azure sql db server should not have existing ssis db so we had ssis db that is why it is not creating if we go and select another catalog server and if we see the test connection it is going to work it is going to be succeeded because I have the same user and password on that for testing purpose also. So it is going to create a test connection and it is it will be successful. And then if we click on the continue, it is going to create that and uh, the same way. And we can use this into our pipeline. So this is what I wanted to show in this demo. In next demo, we will see how, how we can run the SSIS package inside Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse Analytics. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.